Earlier tonight, Christian Sane was found laid out and unconscious in our locker room, putting our main event in complete danger. That is, until the NLP champion stepped up. Uh, your number one contender, uh, Mr. Christian Sane, is uh, laid out in the back. Uh, he's not responding, I guess, or so I hear. Um, and I'm here as the Annihilation champion because I survived. Uh, we'll see. Uh, to offer you a little, um, I don't know, uh, salvation. What do you want? What do I want? Oh, well, it's uh, very simple. Uh, Miss Star, I will uh, save your show tonight. I'm going to take my floating title shot in the main event tonight. The final contest and main event of the evening is a pure wrestling match. Yeah. And it's scheduled for one fall with a time limit of 30 minutes. And it's for the WAW Championship. Yeah. Yeah. Entry first and hailing from Phoenix, Arizona, the WAW Champion, the unbreakable Skylar Phoenix. It is main event time, ladies and gentlemen, a pure wrestling match. What exactly that is, I'm still not even sure. Hopefully Todd Sokol will uh, let us know. The man who lost the Apocalypse Tournament Finals earlier tonight is gonna be challenging the WAW Championship because Christian Sane has been taken out by somebody and is being transported to a local hospital here in Manchester. So our main event has been drastically altered from challenger to challenger as Todd Sokol will now challenge Skylar Phoenix for the WAW Championship. And since Epo was so kind enough as to spit on that NLP Championship earlier on tonight, and you've already seen it, well, we might as well just show it a bunch more times. We got our fun out of it because the belt has got the WAW spit all over it. And Todd Sokol's about to make his way out here with the belt. That's got WAW spit all over it. But it looks like uh, Skylar Phoenix has something to say. Ladies and gentlemen, I have a uh, very fortunate announcement to make. That is, uh, Christian Singh has been found unconscious backstage. Yeah! Kind of wish it was me, but unfortunately it wasn't. So, the match you guys are scheduled to see tonight is unfortunately not going to happen. And, uh... I actually, I actually think it's, it's perfectly fitting because everyone here knows that Christian Sane didn't have the balls to step up one on one. He spent week after week sending pawn after pawn to try and take down the undisputed king. But fear not, faithful Phoenix fanatics. Two men who met an absolute victory last year at Apocalypse meet for the WAW Championship here tonight in the main event of Apocalypse. It came down to these two men at Legacy for the WAW Championship, and it comes down to them again here tonight, once again for the WAW Championship in a pure wrestling match. Todd Sopel flaunting that NLP title belt. Somebody else spat on it, nice. That belt just getting spit on left and right. Screw NLP and screw Todd Sopel. But hopefully Todd Sopel is about to let us know exactly what the rules of a pure wrestling match are. So let's, yeah, he's calling for a mic, so let's take it down to the challenger in tonight's main event. Okay. Shut up! Yeah, shut it! Now, I've come to the realization that you guys are morons and don't know Fans? 
If you guys say so. Okay, first rule for a wrestling match. This match must begin with a tied up in the middle of the ring. Check for authenticity by Red Guy, is it? What kind of name is Red Guy? Anyways. Once you check that for authenticity, you ring the bell, the match starts. Second rule. This match is one. Second rule. This match is one for all to a finish. Third rule. Third rule. The time of this match, the time of it, I should say. I'm trying to explain the rules for now. Please. You people are stupid and literate morons. I have to explain this to you. declared a draw. And no titles can change hands, which brings me to my next point. The title can change hands on a disqualification. There's a 20 count outside the ring, and the title can also change hands by count out. The referee, Red Guy, has authority anywhere in this building. That means no, no man's war, so no more hardcore shit on the outside of the ring. Put that down, please. Put it down. one's underway for the WAW Championship. It's a pure wrestling match. Ten rules as announced by Todd Sopel. 30 minute time limit. The title can change hands on count out or disqualifications. Referee's jurisdiction is everywhere. No closed fists. And as the fans are chanting, it sounds like Sopel wants a bitch fight. Lock up in the center of the ring. Referee checks it and calls for the bell. That was one of the rules. Referee had to check the collar and elbow tie-up before the match could start. And here we are, we're underway. Our main event of Apocalypse 2007, a pure wrestling match, starts with a side headlock by Todd Sopel. Sopel now into a, excuse me, Phoenix into a side headlock on Sopel. Sopel now trying to put an arm between he and Phoenix to try and break up that headlock, and he does. Going into a hammerlock, Phoenix now gets caught by Sopel, who snaps around into a headlock takeover. What a float over there by the equalizer, Todd Sopel. Head scissors now by Skylar Phoenix. Trying to get Sopel to tap out to that, but Sopel now rolling around, trying to get himself out of the head scissors. 
Phoenix gets caught. Those legs are hooked. Sokol now driving Phoenix right across the knees. And Phoenix floats over to a pin. We're going to cover and we only get two. Phoenix and Sopel now circling the ring. Sopel takes the legs out on Phoenix. What's he going for here? Turning around. Can he make the champion tap out here? Phoenix reaching for the ropes. Can he make it? Or will he tap? Wait a second, he's got Sopel's legs and he reverses it. Now he's got Sopo lost. We got a cover. We only get two. Both men's legs are locked, rolling around the ring. Both men in agony here. Sopo trying to get to the ropes. Will he tap out? It looks like he's contemplating it, but he makes it to the ropes. Referee calling for the hold to be broken, and Skylar Phoenix lets up. Phoenix with a drop kick right to the knee of Todd Sopo. That's how you blow a knee out right away and instantly. Kick to the back of the leg and again and again. Four times, five times. Surprised Phoenix didn't just go for 10 on that one. Phoenix stepping on the leg of Sopo, but Sopo trying to stop him. Sopo kicks Phoenix right in the bridge of the nose. We could have a broken nose on that one. Sopel has the champion up now. Forearm shots. Those are fully legal. Close fists or not. Oh, and a standing into Gurry. Barely grazed the head, but enough to catch him in the e-break. Leg drop by Todd Sopel right across the throat. We get a cover and we only get two as Skylar Phoenix gets his shoulder up. Pitch. European uppercut by Todd Sopel on Skylar Phoenix sends the champion right into the corner. Irish whip by Sopel and Phoenix goes in chest first and hits hard and comes crashing out of the corner. Sopel goes for the cover. We're going to count it. We almost had three. Sopel now has Phoenix up on his feet. Irish whip sends him off the opposite side, tries for a clothesline, Phoenix ducks, and he hits a flying shoulder block, taking Phoenix down, and taking Sopel down, now twice with two flying shoulder blocks. Phoenix now going up to the top rope, this is illegal, and Phoenix gets hit on the top rope by Sopel. Sopel now hanging him down, Sopel going off the ropes and drop kick right to the spine of Skylar Phoenix. Going for the cover, we get a count. Referee calls the foot on the ropes, calling a rope break, Sopel put it there. Phoenix now has a rope break, exhausted thanks to Sopel. Sopel now has Phoenix. What's he set up for here? Looks like a standing vertical suplex. Could be the uh, the root here. Oh! Went for the suplex and turned it into a DDT. Sopel choking away at Phoenix there for a moment. Referee called for the break and Sopel took the break. Forearm shot to the side of the head. Oh, a knee right into the face. 
Catching the back of Phoenix's head and pulling it right into the knee as Sopel crashed into the mat. Sopel now on the opposite side, he's charging. Phoenix moves out of the way and Sopel crashes on the ground. Phoenix now on the top rope. Oh, and he hits a stop right to the back of the head. And Red Guy showing some leniency in this one. He could have just disqualified Skylar Phoenix. Two headbutts. Oh, and a third headbutt. Did you hear the sounds of skull on skull cracking? Phoenix now with a leg drop down across the face of Sopo. I said Phoenix's nose might have been broken before. I think Sopo's nose could very well be broken on that headbutt. Both men stirring up to their feet. I think Sopel is in fact bleeding. He might have a broken nose. And if he did in the Scott flow, might have just done it for him. Skylar Phoenix now could be looking to beat Sopel the same way he beat him last year in Apocalypse. He's got him and he's stretching him out. So this could be all for Todd Sopel. Wait a second. Christian Sane, I thought he was at the hospital. Moody Star telling Sane that he can't get involved in this one. Sane agreeing with Star. Wait a second, paralyzer on the president. What the hell? Christian Sane just paralyzed the WAW president. She's trying to stop him from getting involved. Christian Sane, I'm sure, knows who laid him out. It's got to be one of these two men. Christian Sane looking for something under the ring. Sopel is standing and staggering. Phoenix doesn't know what the hell's going on. He wants a piece of Sane. He's willing to take the DQ. Wait a second, no! No! We've got a new WAW champion! Your winner, due to the qualification, and two, what the WAW hell? champion, Todd Sobel! Oh, what the hell? Todd Sobel is the new WAW champion! That NLP loving son of a bitch. This is bullshit. This is bullshit. Phoenix charges and he gets hung up in the ropes. Sane has called for the music to be cut. What the hell is going on? Because I was the analogy champion, and last night I checked, this man of me had my name on it. So you know what? Oh yeah, that's right. So boom. Wait a second, Christian Sane is now staking claim to his Annihilation Championship and the stipulations he chose are false count anywhere. No disqualifications. Sopel took the pure wrestling match. So now Sane is taking his title match here tonight against Todd Sopel. No DQ, false count anywhere. And scrap buster by Sopel. Sopel's got a broken nose. He's the new WNW champion. That's a travesty in itself. And now Skylar Phoenix knows that there are no disqualifications, knows that pinfalls count anywhere, and he is gonna get involved. And he's going after the man who just cost him the title. Sane hits Phoenix. We get a cover. We get a count. We have a new WNW champion. What the hell? Twists and turns all around, ladies and gentlemen. First scholar Phoenix loses the WAW Championship by disqualification to Todd Sokol. And three minutes later, ladies and gentlemen, we've got another 
new WAW champion. As Christian Sane, apparently not at the hospital, obviously he's the new champ, shows up and takes his stipulations after all. No DQ, balls count anywhere. And in three minutes, Christian Sane is the new WAW champion. I don't believe it. Christian Sane kicking the NLP title to the floor. That's about the only thing I can approve of that he's done here. He paralyzed our president. I am in total shock, ladies and gentlemen. This has never happened in WAW history. The WAW Championship has never changed hands twice in one night. Until tonight, Todd Sopel beats Skyler Phoenix and then Christian Sane beats Todd Sopel. What a turn of events, I don't... Wait a second. Christian Sane pulling the bandages off. Was Christian Sane ever really hurt backstage? Or is this just yet another scheme from the master schemer himself? He schemed his way to annihilation. He schemed his way to apocalypse. And he very well may have schemed his way to the WAW Championship.